Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome to... Resident Evil. <laughs> he says it much better than I do. We are continuing our descent into madness. Uh, yeah, we'll leave all those as they are. We have Resident Evil 1 Remake. I'm playing this version on the PS4, because whenever I try, for some reason, whenever I try to record... The version I have on Steam, the display dimensions are all messed up, like I, and I, ca I can't get them to. It always looks weird and wrong. I don't like it, so we're cheating a little bit and going with the PS4. Uh, I think that one will do. So we've got a choice between Chris and Jill. I will be playing through both, but since I've already done one Jill playthrough on this channel, like a couple of years ago, we're going to start with Chris. Chris Redfield. Before he became a steroid junkie. Here we go. Alpha you know? team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. I love this game so much. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Who we saw saying goodbye to Rebecca in the last game. At the very start of Zero. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... A nightmare. Dramatic effect. So, anytime anybody asks me what game should they play to get into Resident Evil, this is the one I always recommend. It's the perfect remake you get the full Resident Evil 1 experience and a couple of extras thrown in for good measure. Obviously go back and play the originals if you can because they're great. But this is the one you should start with if you're looking at getting into Resident Evil. Hey Joseph. Bye Joseph. The music's so good. <laughs> Nicely done. There goes old chicken heart. Chris, this way. Makes that shot in the dark with sunglasses on. And because we've already played through Zero, we know he's the bad guy. Damn you, Wesker. You charismatic git. Oh, uh, PS4, why must you do this to me? Enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. 
Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Now come on, Chris. She obviously likes you. For now, at least. Maybe some scruffy head, handsome man will come and will come and change that. Who knows? We have ink ribbon. Uh, no, we'll leave that. Don't need it. Let's go see what the bang bang was. I have to switch the control scheme, but we'll see. There's Kenneth, not the zombie, the guy who's been eaten. Ooh, what a way to go. It's got to be a really horrible way to go, though, being eaten alive. No, thank you. I'm not about that life. Wesker? Jill? Oh, no, they gone. Where did they go? Who knows, Chris? But we'll take that. And now we have a gun. Jill doesn't bless her, but she doesn't need one. Oh dear. Hey, Kenneth. You all right? Take that off yet. So I'm not going to be rushing for a speed run because this is a a playthrough of the law of Resident Evil more than anything else. To remind myself mainly, because I'm a bad Resident Evil fan and I've forgotten a lot. Yep, take the green herb. Did you have anything on you? No, fair enough. Oh, I don't like the alternate control scheme, I might have to change that. It kind of feels like it's fighting against the uh, the control pad, the thumbsticks rather. No, you're already moving. I don't like that. Oh god, where's the aim? There it is. Down you go, good sir. Examine an item. From the status screen, select an item and then select the examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. Thank you. Arrowhead looks like it can be removed. The arrowhead is made from peridot, whatever that is. Sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. Oh, 
Now we know what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, Chris has limited item space. Chris is the harder mode to play through because he has limited space and the enemies are a bit harder as well. Let's grab this. Emergency of aid. Using defence items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a, de a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press L2 to use the defensive item. Cool. I'm glad we got that out of the system, out of the way. Down you go, mate. Thank you. I love how Chris has no idea what this blue gem's value could be, but hell, let's let's cause some property damage regardless, shall we? We know what it's there for, but at this stage in the game, Chris doesn't. There's a name for that uh, phenomenal. I can't remember what it's called, but basically, someone said the game we we're playing is not the story that's being told. The story that's being told in these games is what we see in the cutscenes. Everything that happens in between those cutscenes, like what happens to the player getting bitten by zombies or whatnot, is is not a factor into the in the overall story. So that's how Chris and Jill, Leon, Claire, they can all get bitten by zombies. And not get infected. Hey, I don't make the rules. But them's are the rules. Some shotgun shells in there that I can't forget. I'll come back here later so it's not too pressing that I don't get them now. Uh, the death masks. Yes, I will take book. Thank you. Got a key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that, a mask that cannot speak, smell or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Well, let's not do that then. There's an engraving of a sword. And now it's the sword key. Good old pre-rendered backgrounds. That's the advantage of the new RE engine for like RE two and three and seven. Is that, um, the environments look so good, and this game still holds up really nicely. But the pre-rendered pre backgrounds does date it quite a lot. I would personally like to see this game get a graphical update in the RE engine but I, and I oh, and I mean only a graphical update it doesn't need changing in any way shape or form just give it a nice lick of paint maybe update the controller scheme especially if you're going to switch it to over the shoulder camera but change nothing else Leave the story, the characters, how it all plays out, leave it exactly the same. You do not need to edit this anymore. This is already the perfect version of Resident Evil 1. Botany. Uses of medicinal herbs. It is a well-known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medical... Me 
medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been using has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native to the Arklay Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct colour and a distinct medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralises natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with the other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own for the knowledge is for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Yeah, we haven't even got to the yellow herbs. They make their one and only appearance in four. Pretty sure they're not in five. I know they're not in six. Well, hello. I might taunt your friend up here because since I'm starting a new game from scratch. You dead? Yes. Might as well try and get some achievements while I'm at it. Hey. Yeah, get your bony ass up here. Did I get you? Good, I'm glad you fell backwards, but I've lost my knife. Oh yeah, you can't get them back in this one, that's Resident Evil 2. <coughs> Actually, I think I've already achieved most of the achievements, but it doesn't really matter. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, they, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration, destruction of the head. If further met methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll, which you'll need to find by yourself. Ditch those. Put you there. There we go. Okay, that is how I like my inventory organised. Yeah, I'll take the canteen. How are we doing for time? We're doing good for time. And then we need to go grab the lighter. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no, I've already got a lighter. That's why right, it's Jill who has to pick up a lighter. You see, you could. It, it's definitely been a while since I've played. Oh, come on. I'll grab the dog whistle. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one, no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. 
This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that, that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Whoops. Which means only you can put this collar on him. This, the object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always, wa always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. Ooh, I wonder what they were plotting. It's probably nothing relevant, but it doesn't sound... It sounds conspicuous. Alright. Will it get both of them? Yes! And that's how you deal with the zombies in this game. I, I love this mechanic of being able to burn the zombies. I wish they kept it for two and three. Because when I, I remember when I first played this, it came out on the GameCube and the zombies' bodies didn't disappear after you shot them. I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh, sweet, they've. This, uh. This game is powerful and this console's powerful enough when they don't so they don't have to make all the bodies disappear. Got the bloody fright of my life when they turned and became crimson heads. Should have realised it was a trap. Right. There yeah, and now this hallway's clear, which is how I like it. Burn that. And now we have a map for the second floor. Thank you kindly. Grab all of the herbs. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I pick up this herb and combine it straight away? No, fair enough. Right, let's drop these off. I'll leave that herb there actually in case I need it for an emergency. Because so sometimes it's a good idea not to pick everything up. Press on. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway? Yes! Let's be reckless. Let's live a little. I'm trying to remember the route I usually take. I, ha I have my own... My own uh, my own route for playing this game I, and I, I never deviate from it it's like for me this is how it should be played I'm sure people have their own methods of doing it as well please say you do I don't want to think I'm I don't want to believe I'm the only crazy person who pl plays games a certain way I've right, got ink ribbon and shotgun can't get the shotgun yet Needed the uh, the dagger. You can't cheat and get the shotgun by having Barry come to save you like a gel. Oh, 
Oh no, wait! The thing by the typewriter in the storage area was not an ink ribbon, it was a small key. I need the small key, but I can't go back through that door. Ah, damn it. Pretty sure there's one in here. Maybe. I can't believe I forgot that. That must smell awful. <laughs> yeah! That's cured your headache, hasn't it? Alright, good. I've got a small key. That's one. At least I know, I know for definite that there's at least one more, should I need it. Right, there's herbs out here, but I should probably leave them for an emergency. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll come back for these. There's a load of red herbs around there. I'll come back for them later. Better check my ammo. Yes, more ammo. Thank you very much. Oh. Shit! Oh, you made me use my dagger. Little bitch. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's another one here. Yeah! So this is what modern Resident Evil is missing. Pushing incon inconceivably heavy uh, pieces of furniture to solve puzzles with relative ease. Of course Resident Evil 5's Chris probably would have just punched it. Cool. First floor map. Woman drawing water. Zombo! Well, it still looks pretty good by today's standards. You can leave him in there because the chest of jaws is going to reset and he's trapped in there now so don't need to kill him. Alright, so we need to go blow the whistle and kill some weeds. It's an impressive mansion. You know, when I was younger, I wanted a mansion. I was like, specifically a mansion like this one, the Resident Evil 1 mansion. But then it, as I've got older, you know, it moved into my own places. It's like, you know what, I can barely keep my own flat tidy. There's no chance I'm keeping an entire mansion tidy. Right, I need a small key. Right, 
Right. That's what I needed the other small key for. Oops. Oh, there's another one around the corner. I know you're not dead. Oh, yes. Critical. You dead? Alright, good. I'll, I'll set fire to you later. Not that I'm a pyromaniac or anything, I just like burning things. Especially Zambinos. Okay. I think this is an ideal opportunity to end this first episode here. I haven't done too badly. We're continuing the mystery, started with Resident Evil Zero. There we go. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.